Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thanks for the intro, Richard. Um, it's good to be here. Um, given it's afternoon, I'm going to keep my story um, more about um, the rationale for why fintech is very important. Um, uh, you know, we see fintech um, word being used over and over again, um, but what does it really mean? Why uh, are companies starting with this um, idea? It's something, someone has an idea and the company starts. Um, I want to use Pawn Hero as an example to really relate to the story um, at a macro level and then cover a bit more about um, how Pawn Hero works, um, what we do, and how do we do the things differently. Um, empowering the Unbanked in Southeast Asia. Pawn Hero is the first online pawn shop in Southeast Asia. Um, if you think about it, um, Gavin was covering um, earlier that um, Uber is the largest taxi hailing company without actually um, owning a single taxi. Um, pawn Hero is the largest pawn shop in the world without owning a single pawn outlet. And I'll tell you in a bit how that is. Uh, I'm not sure if that is working. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, what's the rationale? Um, McKinsey did a study um, and said half of the world is unbanked. Yep. More than 50% of the 40 poorest developing countries, um, people don't have accounts. Not even a single bank account or even a micro um, account for a financial institution where they can um, send money, receive money, um, save money, etc. When you talk about Southeast Asia, the number goes up to 70%. Um, Philippines, it's 72%. 72%, so 72 million people um, are unbanked, and it's not that the unbanked are not unservable. Yeah? Banks and financial institutions, they don't want to serve them. Um, and what it leads to is, um, is that there is online um, industry that is disrupting all these financial businesses. Um, we have stories of PayPal long ago, um, but it made a very simple problem it solved a very simple problem um, of making this payment discreet between a buyer and a seller, and look where PayPal is today. Yeah, it solves the payment problem historically. Um, Lending Club, I'm sure most of you are aware of. Um, interest rates is an online marketplace. It solved the fundamental problem of traditional banking business. Um, so what are we doing? Um, pawning is a very um, old industry, 3,000 year old industry, and that is what we are disrupting. Um, technology, when we talk about it, it's in the world we're living in. Um, I think every day there is a new startup. In fact, every few hours there is a new startup. Um, and it really comes down to are we solving the fundamental problem that exists, um, something that's traditional, something that's going to change or needs to change. It's expensive to be poor. Why? Because banks and financial institutions don't want to serve them. What are the options? Um, I think earlier, um, Ayana was covering more about the remittance business and, and why it's difficult with pawn shops. Um, it is expensive to be poor because pawn shops and loan sharks are the ones that are alternatives to banks and financial institutions. And what interest rate do they charge is up to 10%. Um, there are hidden costs and penalties. Um, if I go to the pawn shop, and I did visit a few of the pawn shops in, in the Philippines and in other markets in Southeast Asia, um, there are hidden costs and penalties, um, which usually a pawner is not aware of. Um, and, and, and on top of that, if you think about the item the unbanked would have, it would be not just jewelry. Not everyone has um, gold or diamond to pawn. Yeah, but the pawn shops... Um, traditional pawn shops only accept that item. Um, they will refuse to accept a luxury bag or a watch or a smartphone or even um, a musical guitar. Um, there is always this negative stigma associated um, when you visit a pawn shop. Um, uh, as a person, you would be not very happy to see your relative or bumping into someone you know uh, when you walk into a pawn shop. Um, mainly for, this, for the pawning, for the sangla, not just for the, not for the remittance, yeah? It's in, inconvenient. It's not considered safe. Um, I've heard crazy stories in, in the Philippines where um, people have um, 
stolen items from the pawn shops, pretty much digging holes in the ground. Um, but who loses the money? The pawner. Um, so what do we do? We decided to put pawn shop in everybody's pocket. Um, literally an app or an online version of pawn, sh pawn shops. Um, when I say high interest rate, it could be up to 10%. Um, we pay, you, when you do business with Pawn Hero, you pretty much pay half the interest rate what pawn shops would charge, only 2.99%. Um, there is no hidden charge, there's no penalty. Um, traditional pawn shops usually would charge you renewal fee. Um, they would only offer you a one month loan and then at the end of that period, um, you will have to pay some penalty. Um, we don't do that. We offer loans one to 12 months at 50% interest rate than a traditional pawn shop. Um, pawn more, we pretty much accept everything that you have, not just jewelry, um, musical guitars, gadgets, smartphones, luxury bags, watches, you name it and we, we accept it. Um, so you can pretty much think of everything that you have, one can pawn that, yeah? Um, stay home, discreet. Um, that's, I think, a very important aspect when it comes to visiting a pawn shop, negative stigma associated. Um, you stay discreet, we are 24 seven online, anytime you can pawn from anywhere, pretty much. Um, also for renewals, you have to visit pawn shops to renew it every month if you need a loan for, let's say, six months. Um, but with us, it's all online. So you will never know, you will never visit a warehouse, you will never know where our office is, it's because everything is done very online at, at, your, at your own comfort. Um, a bit of a story um, before that um, is, is how um, people say that fintech is a myth, right? I mean, I read articles every day where people say, well, fintech is not gonna work, um, and most of the time it's, it's really the traditional guy saying that it's not gonna work. Um, but I can get, tell you that um, we started in February 2015. Um, we had this idea of traditional pawn shops not working. Um, we went to some of the investors, um, notably Nick Snoledo from Serpas, Manny Ayala, um, and Jun Taguk from Tugol. We raised some fund, and we, we thought, let's prove the business model. Um, we launched in February 2015 because it took us seven months to get the license in the Philippines. Um, since then, I would say it's been a wild ride. Um, we, um, since we started, every minute we get 7,500 pesos um, worth of request, yeah? um, every minute. Um, if you think about it, that's more than 100 million pesos already to date. Um, and why do, I, why do I say we are the, we're the largest pawn shop without owning a, pawn, a single pawn shop? Because we partnered with um, Tugo, uh, which is a known logistic company, pretty much any of their 900 outlets, you can drop off their item and we'll pick it up from there. Um, that makes us zero capex and the biggest pawn, uh, biggest pawn shop in the world. Uh, and, 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 and recurring customers, that tells us that the model is working. Um, so what we did was we started with five people in, in February 2015, um, pretty much go out to see and prove the business model. Um, and and, and we, you can see the numbers, we, we, we've proven the business model, what's, the, what's next to Pawn Hero is today we are 50 people growing very fast. Um, and what I want to also highlight is um, today we're helping thousands of Filipinos to get loan at an interest rate of half of these traditional pawn shops. Um, yeah, and 90% of the items that we receive would not even be accepted at traditional pawn shops because they would only accept jewelry. Um, which makes, it, makes us unique in a form of really solving a fundamental problem of um, securing a short term credit at an affordable rate. Um, just a bit on how does it work. So I'll try to relate it to a story, um, a, a pawner um, last week, in fact. Um, we received a call at 8 a.m. in the morning um, to say, can I pawn my smartphone? My wife is, um, needs medical bills to be covered, and I really don't have money. Um, 8 o'clock, we received a call. 10 a.m., uh, we picked up the item from the, from the pawner's um, house. Uh, by noon, we had it appraised and um, we released the loan by noon. So it took us a very short period of time from the moment the person requested something uh, which is a short-term loan to releasing the money. Um, it's very simple, you go online, you download the app, um, you tell us a bit about your item, or you can visit our website and tell us a bit about your item. Right? 
For example, um, you want to pawn um, a luxury watch, um, tell us a bit about the model, um, how the item is, and within, um, within minutes you will get the initial estimate. We'll pick up the item from your house or whatever the location is in the, on, the, on the same day, we'll take it to our central warehouse, we'll appraise it, and we'll release the loan. Um, all that happens within a few hours. What does it mean? Um, you, you pay less, you don't have to worry about visiting a pawn shop, getting stuck in the traffic when you don't even know how much money are you going to get. Um, there is high inconsistency when you visit um, pawn shops. I visited um, a pawn shop chain um, in, in, in Pasai and, and there were five pawn shops of the same company and every pawn shop I visited had a different appraisal value. Um, and I struggle to understand why this is the case. Um, and then I started to think about how they appraised the item. Um, and, and, and I took a piece of jewelry um, to the pawn shop, and, and the first question I was asked is, are you okay if we um, go through the acid test, which will pretty much leave a mark on your jewelry? Um, yeah, uh, we don't do that. We leverage technology. We um, never, ever touch your item in a way that destroys it. Um, we use X-ray technology, which will tell us exactly the, the content, the gold, the weight, and the microns. Um, very easy to pay loans, redeem, everything is done online. Um, so, um, what do we do? How does it work? Um, it's not just the loans um, that we release. Um, people also have, um, some of, few people also default. And what, when they're not able to pay the loan, what happens is we have pre-loved items in the marketplace. This, much, this is pretty much all the luxury watches, the bags where people haven't redeemed the item, it gets onto our marketplace. Um, and the third that I want to show you is, is something we call it the Pawn Hero card. Um, this is powered by Security Bank and it's a pre-activated um, savings bank account. Um, when I mentioned initially that 70% um, of the population in Southeast Asia is unbanked, um, what I really mean is they are unbanked, they don't have a bank account so how would we release the money? Um, so we're solving a fundamental problem by giving them a bank account which is instantly activated. When we pick up the item, we'll give you a Pawn Hero card um, and, and you can withdraw pretty much the money from any ATM across the island. Um, and, um, and we're in the process of remittance, paying bills, everything through the card. Um, um, and if you think about it, all these business model elements are mutually enforcing. Okay, um, we've been covered um, by quite a lot of, um, we've got the media hyped, um, but also um, just to, to highlight that it's, once we've proven the business model, it's also that we're backed by some of the credible investors um, in the region, SoftBank, um, IMJ, um, we've been backed by Hatched, um, Two Go, um, and 500 startups, Alibaba, etc. cetera. Yep. Um, I just wanna uh, finish by, by, by saying, um, that uh, Pawn Hero has, has already proven the model in the Philippines. Um, our next growth story is Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. Uh, we've already got the license, and we're pretty much launching it very soon. Um, and Indonesia is in the process. Um, we really want to solve the fundamental problem of, of the, the unbank, making sure that they become the, un, uh, the bankable unbanked, yeah? um, by providing them affordable credit and, and, and something that will really solve the problem in the future and in the long run. Yeah, thank you.